Yeah, let's go to the uh, front of school. Let's go check that out. Yeah, I didn't really hear the ding yet, so might as well go check this place out. Looks like most of the students have left already. Uh, can I engage with anyone? I don't see anyone, but yeah, they're all gone. Look and examine the surroundings. Faculty meeting hasn't finished. Oh, there's someone. Huh? That's Ayumi. Where's she going? I'll follow her. Where are you going, Ayumi? Oh, a mirror. In a spooky hallway dead end. Ayumi. Oh, it's you. Ellipses. The spookiest of sentences. What's the matter with Ayumi? She seems out of it. Uh, hey girl. Huh? What is it? I wonder what's wrong with Ayumi. Maybe something's on her mind. Uh, let's chat it up. I tried talking to lots of people. I couldn't nail down whether or not Yoko is looking into the girl who stands behind. But even if she was investigating the rumor, how does that connect to a murder? Ellipses. That's probably exhausted. Yeah, that's probably nothing as well. Mr. Tazaki? That's the school janitor. What about him? Ellipses. He called me in front of the old school building. Oh. Do you know anything more about him? He's the janitor at the school. He's nice, but a bit odd. Alright. Hmm. Look and examine the surroundings. It's quiet here. There's a mirror in the corner. Can I look at Ayumi? Ayumi seems to be lost in thought. Can I look at, uh... Me in the mirror? What? I don't have nostrils. Uh, just kidding. Yo, yeah, okay. I can look at mirror Ayumi. Are these two different Ayumi prompts, or are they just... I don't know. Can I look at her hair thing? No, I'm not allowed to. Is mirror Ayumi? Lost in thought? No, not a different prompt. But I can look at the mirror itself. It's quiet here. There's a mirror in the corner. Who puts a mirror like this in the corner? It's weird. Show the class ID? Hey, Ayu. Wait a second. Should I show this to Ayumi? Yes. I have this. I'll never forgive who, whoever killed Yoko. The police returned it. I'd like to give it to you. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Was that like an actual proper decision or was that mandatory? I don't know. What is she doing here? So, here's the thing. I remember Yoko saying something here. One day after Yoko's behavior changed, I was standing in front of this mirror. Then, she came up behind me and said, Ayumi, look, I need to tell you something about the girl who stands behind. Girl, you're standing behind her. She really might be standing behind you. Are you the girl who's standing? Well, you are a girl who's standing behind. Was she just not there? Whoa. It's like Yoko was... Was she already dead at that point? It's like she was telling you that the girl who stand. She was the girl who stands behind. That's all Yoko said. What was she trying to tell me? That there's a girl who stands behind you. No thoughts. Not allowed to look. The girl who stands behind is standing behind me. What was she trying to tell me? Hmm. Oh no, Ayumi, there's a girl behind you! Just, just seems to be a perfect clone. Do you have a twin? I don't know. Fuck. Talk. About Yoko. What does she mean? I, I, 
I'm scared. Hey, there's that. Faculty meeting seems to be over. Hell yeah. Alright, later. I'm out. You do you. I'm gonna do me. Excuse me. Oh, Mr. Detect Man. I've just gone back from a meeting. Alright. Yeah, let's chat it up. Was this the student who came here? Yeah. It's a frightening story. Okay. He's a janitor. His bark is worse than his bite. Anything more? Before he was a janitor, Mr. Tazaki was a plasterer. You know, the people who plaster walls? Could it be that the wall panel in the old school building was... Ah, oh, that wall. Good eye. Yes, that was Mr. Tazaki's work. When the wall crumbled years ago, he fixed it. Fine craftsmanship, indeed. So why did he stop being a plasterer, then? What about Mr. Tazaki? Nothing. I just met him in front of the old school building. Hmm. It's a bit odd, but not a bad man. That's probably it for him. Hmm. I wanted to tell you something. Huh? What is it? But I can't remember. I think it was rather important. Can you... Can I press you on it? What was it? I feel like I just gotta keep pressing. Alright. Just start mashing. Just keep going. This might be one of those things where I need to press it six times over. Cause fuck you, am I right? Okay, no, it actually looks like I need to do something else. If I show Komada the class ID, I can find out if it was Yoko who came here. Is Aimi still around? Hey, Aimi. Are you there? Excuse me for a moment. Aimi. What's wrong? Can I hold on to that class ID for a little longer? Ah, oh, sure, you can have it. Thanks. Travel? Ah, oh, the time. I gotta get home. Goodbye, detective. Okay, be safe. Hey, guy. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Got, hey, guy, I got you this. Hmm, who's this? Oh, this is the girl. Really? Yes, I remember her face very well. She seemed so desperate to hear the story that it was a bit disturbing. Why was she so curious about the girl who stands behind? So Yoko really was investigating the girl who stands behind. But I still don't see the connection between this and the case yet. You know, the phrase the girl who stands behind is quite a mouthful in English. I wonder if it was a lot simpler to say in Japanese. Don't know. Alright, let's chat it up. No mistaking it, she's the one. Oh, okay, uh, how about what you know? Did you remember? First Yoko Kojima, now you. What's with everyone asking about the girl who stands behind? Ellipses. Ah, oh, yes, yes, I remember now. What is it? After I told you about the missing person case yesterday, I looked into it a little more. I found out that the girl who was named Shinobu Asakawa, she was in class 1A at the time. Shinobu Asakawa. Okay, tell me about the Shinobu. I don't remember much of her as a student, unfortunately. But rumor has it she might have been involved in an incident of some sort. An incident? Anyhow, please excuse me, but it's getting late and I need to head home. Farewell, Mr. Detect Man. Yes, thank you so much. Later. Yeah, I should probably go to the office now. Speculate to no one. Oh, he's actually here. Neat. I'm back. Good work, detective. Uh speculate 
For whatever reason, Yoko Kojima was looking to the girl who stands behind, and likely that the root of the rumor is the girl who suddenly disappeared 15 years ago. Her name was Shinobu Asakawa, a student at Ushimitsu High, uh, High School. Something must have happened to her, but does this have anything to do with Yoko's murder case? Looks like we need to investigate into the Shinobu. Can I think? I wonder what the janitor Tazaki was worried about when he, when he spoke. Probably about that wall. I don't know. How's the investigation going? Hard to say, detective. How about your case? So far, I've just received a synopsis of what happened. Fifteen years ago, Genjiro Kaneda, a local bar owner, was murdered. Back then, the police had a likely suspect. Several days later, he was discovered dead from an apparent suicide. So we don't know most of the facts at all. Do you have any clues? Yes, when the crime occurred, it seems there was someone else at the, cr at the scene. First year at Ushimitsu High School at the time. You don't fucking say that it's Shinobu Asakawa! Whoa, that girl's been missing since then, right? Yes, how did you know? Detective Utsuki, these two cases might be related. Detective, go to the police department immediately and ask about the Kaneda case. Right away, detective. You know, naming the character Detective makes it really difficult whether or not he's being addressed as, like, a title or, uh, as his name. It's light, but the police department is still bustling with people, working away. Oh, who's this? Good evening. Hey, kid, can't just hang out here. What brings you in? Oh, hey there. What's your name? Um, excuse me. So what brings you in today? I'm Detective Detect Man and Assistant at Utsuki Detective Agency. Oh, you're the... Yes, Detective Utsuki told us. You're here about the Genjiro Kanada case, right? I'll let the lead investigator know you're here. Please wait. Hey there, sorry to make you wait. Ah, oh, so you're the assistant from U Detective Utsuki's place. I'm Maruyama from Investigation Division 1. Nice to meet you. Thanks for speaking with me. I'm Detective Detect Man from Utsuki Detective Agency. If I remember correctly, you were at the scene when Yoko Kojima's body was discovered as well. Alright, enough chit chat. Let's get down to business. There you go. Thank you. Alright, let's chat it up. So, you want to hear more about Genjiro Kaneda's murder case? I'll tell you everything we've got so far. Thank you so much. Soon after Genjiro Kaneda moved here in February, 15 years ago, he opened up a bar. Later that same year, on November 10th, around 9pm, he was murdered at his home. Damn, it sucks. Genjiro was stabbed multiple times with a sharp weapon, causing him to bleed to death. Based on the way he was killed, we concluded that the killer was someone who strongly resented Genjiro. Okay... The bar wasn't part of the crime scene because Genjiro was killed in his home, which is in a different location. Huh. The bar wasn't the crime scene. Alright, alright. Do you know anything about Genjiro Kaneda? Uh, of anything uh, he might have done to make someone resent him? Genjiro Kaneda posed as a barkeep by day, but was a ruthless scoundrel by night. He would lend money to people and charge them a horrible interest rate when he was oh, so a loan shark. On top of that, he was a fraudster, and he fell victim to his cunning schemes. Wow, sounds like an asshole. But if there were so many victims, why didn't the police investigate them? Well, he covered his tracks. We didn't have much to go off until people spoke up. And just as enough victims came forward when we started building a case, he was murdered. So, Genji no Kaneda was not well liked, to put it mildly. Exactly. We had a long list of potential suspects who had enough motive to kill him. And to top it all off, to this day we have yet to find the murder weapon. Damn. Genjiro had a son, Goro, who was 16 years old at the time. So it'd be like in his 
30s, early 30s at this point, huh? About Goto? When his father passed, Goto inherited a fortune. To this day, he lives off that money without having to work. Even before the incident, Goto didn't go to school. He just fooled around and visited Genjiro's bar. Hmm? Goto's 31 years old now. He's probably still living like a gang. What a life. Anything more about him? He's probably still living lavishly. Nah, so we just know we got a son that's living living it up. Maybe. We got a son named Goro. Okay. Uh, can you give me more about the cause of death? Genji was stabbed multiple times with a sharp weapon, causing him to bleed to death. Back then, Genjiro's bar was a hangout spot for the town with delinquents and hoodlums. The girls got to know Goro at the bar and later on began hanging out at his house. Oh. Uh, most of the girls were students at Ushimitsu High! That was because one of the cute girls who particularly close to Goro Kaneda was a student at Ushimitsu High School. It seems that Shielten invited her friends to go over there after school. That's a bit... No, that's not a bit. That's very sketchy. I don't like the way... I don't like the implications of that. On the night of the murder, three girls had made plans to go out with Goro who were, and were waiting in front of his place. But Goto never showed up. Two of the girls got tired of waiting and left. One stayed behind, saying so he'd hang around, hang around a bit longer. And that was Shinobu Asakawa? Correct. The girls left right before 9 p.m., leaving Shinobu Asakawa alone when the crime was committed. Huh. Give me some more about Shinobu. The night she mysteriously disappeared was to She somehow linked to the murder? We have no clues as to where she may have gone. Honestly, my gut tells me Shinobu Asakawa is dead. Why? Forensics found some type AB blood about 10 meters or what from the house, which matches Shinobu Asakawa's blood type. How are you doing so far? Keep it up? Why don't you take some time to gather your thoughts? Let's think it up. Okay, here's what I got so far. Please let me know if I'm off base. Instruction! In the following text, please enter the name of the person who fits in the blank. Please choose from the name that you think is correct using the stick and press A to select. The night of the crime scene, Genjiro and Shinobu Asakawa were present at the Kaneda residence. She was waiting alone for blank to return. Um. Oh, so this is what. <laughs> Damn! Uh, was she looking for Goro? She was waiting for alone, uh, alone for Goro Kaneda to return. Correct. That's when the murderer came and stabbed blank multiple times with a sharp weapon. That would have been Genjiro. That's when the murderer came and stabbed Genjiro Kaneda multiple times with a sharp weapon. Exactly. Hearing something, blank rushed to the scene. That wouldn't be Yoko, that would be, uh... Shinobu? Hearing something, Shinobu Asagawa rushed to the scene. You've got it! Genjiro Kaneda was lying there, unconscious and bleeding at the feet of the killer. When the killer saw her face, she tried to run, but Shinobu was caught and abducted. Then Blank was either injured or uh, injured by the killer, or... Uh... Would it be Shinobu again? Shinobu Asakawa was either injured by the killer, or... Or she was murdered. Great job, Detective Detect Man. Your theory matches exactly what police thought at the time. I'm impressed. Already, I'm starting to feel like this game has a bit more care in into it than, uh, Missing Air. Because, like, that's a decent mechanic to be like, hey, you're paying attention, right? Just, also, this has better music. That, too. However, back then, we had one more theory regarding Shinobu Asakawa. Another theory. It's also generally a more interesting premise at the moment. Nah, head empty. Genji was stabbed. What could it be? Now, Shinobu Asakawa was the killer. See, she disappeared from the crime scene right after the murder. Huh. With this in mind, along with Asakawa still being a minor, we directed the media not to publish her name. And at the school's request, we took extra care in gathering information. If there was a kid like you back then, it might have helped us a bunch. 
Because of the sensitivity of the case, only those who were directly involved know details. As said, there were many rumors floating around, but... My gut says that Asakawa was murdered by the killer. Ellipses. My gut says that Asakawa, okay. Nope. Still not thinking. Soon after the murder, Goro returned home to find Genjiro's body and quickly reported it to the police. Goro Kaneda returned home right after the murder. On his way there, he passed by a car. A car? Tell me about this car. It was an ordinary black car. You didn't get a good look or the, at the make or license plate number. Understandable, you didn't know what had happened yet. There's a good chance that the car was used in the crimes. There are tire marks at the crime, near the crime scene and they would have needed a car to abduct Hasakawa. I see. By the way, I'd heard that a suspect in the case committed suicide. Oh, you're well informed. Yes, right after the incident, a man named Teruhiko Uchida committed suicide. Teruhiko Uchida. Hmm. Who's this? Tadahiko Uchida ran a small factory in town, but he lost it after falling victim to Genjiro's fraud. Tadahiko seemed to be an upstanding man, but some say he was a little too nice for his own good. He generously went out of his way to help Genjiro, who had just moved to town, and his generosity backfired. Damn, it sucks. So Tadahiko Uchida had a strong motive. They were going to speak to Terahiko as a person of interest, but he had gone missing just a few hours before the crime. He tried to track his movements, but it was too late. A few days later, Terahiko Uchida's body was found. It's possible that he might have killed Genjiro than himself, but we don't have any proof. Plus, there are other suspects to consider. The problem was, they were all at strong alibis. And now, this year, the case is reaching its statute of limitations. So, that's the general summary of the Genjiro Kanada murder case. Damn. You know what? We don't have any more information, you, even if you ask again, I don't have anything new to tell you. I talk to me. I can talk again if you really want, but you don't need, you don't need me, me to, right? You got it all down in your notes. Yeah, I'm good. I got it. Thanks, man. Hey, welcome, Detective Utsuki. It was smart to hire such a reliable assistant like you. Good luck, Detective. And, uh, talk? Anything else? Think. I generally understand the incident that Shino Basakawa was implicated in. I should get back to the office and process everything. What's wrong? Seemed lost in thought all of a sudden. That's because I pressed the think prompt. Wait a minute. Aren't you looking into that Yoko Kojima case? The girl who was murdered the other day? Do you think there is some connection between that case and the Gentudo Kaneda case? Yoko Kojima was looking to a rumor at Ushimitsu High School. It's about the girl who stands behind. The ghost. There's a chance the rumor came about after Shinobu Asakawa's disappearance. A ghost? That's quite interesting. I'll have to hear about that too. Sadly, we don't have much time. Maybe next time. Alright. Thanks, man. Later. That was very educational. I'll head out now. Thank you very much for your help. Sure. Get back safe. Say hi to Detective Utsuki for me. I'm back? Oh, Detective Uski isn't around. Seems to have gone out. Okay. Shinobu Asakawa seems to have been implicated in the Kaneda case. The theory that Shinobu was murdered likely led to the rumor about the girl who stands behind. Fifteen years later, Kaneda's killer and Shinobu's whereabouts are still both shrouded in mystery. Tadahiko Uchida, who was a strong suspect for the case, committed suicide. Was he the killer after all? It's possible. Wait a second. While well, Yoko was looking into the rumor about the girl who stands behind, she might have come across the Kaneda case. And as she continued to investigate, it's possible she found key information about the killer. And if the true identity of the killer ended up being someone other than Uchida, did the killer also... But to prove this theory, I need to confirm that Yoko knew about the Kaneda case. School's about to get out. I guess I'll go and speak to more people. Might be able to find a clue that tells me whether Yoko knew about the Kaneda case or not. Alright. 
Let's head out. Looks like some students are participating in club activities today. I should try talking to them. Okay. I'm gonna call and engage them over. Excuse me, can I speak with you for a moment? Oh, man, turn this way. Is he, is he the supervising teacher? Hmm, what's going on? Oh, it's you. Little mi Mr. Detective who's been hanging around the school these days. Who's calling me little? Uh, chat about Yoko. Who would murder her? Oh, duh. That's what you're investigating. Okay. Such a horrifying story. I don't want to believe that's real, but I do. I'd also believe it too, then. Okay, do you know more about the case? Such a horrifying story. Nope, you know basically nothing. Alright. The Canada case? What's that? It's a murder case that occurred in this town 15 years ago. Have you ever heard of it? Oh wow, well, it's sad, but I wouldn't know. Hmm. What do you know? I'm just not sure it's a good idea to say anymore. Why not? Tell me. I'm just not sure it's a good idea- Fuck you. You're useless. What's the matter, Mr. Detective? The matter is you're giving me fucking nothing. Do you know this girl? So tragic. Why did she have to be killed? Uh, can I just look at them? This looks like the tennis club. Ah, oh, you want to talk to me? I'm honored. Not really, though. You just kind of walked up to me. Hmm. Yep. Very tragic. Such a horrifying story. Don't want to believe that's real, but I do. It's too long ago. Wouldn't know, but Mr. Komada might. Mr. Kamado will probably know. Okay. Um, anything else? Just not sure it's a good idea to say anymore. And what the fuck do I do? No, I didn't mean to press that. God damn it. Okay. You give me fucking nothing. It's possible that Komada couldn't know about the Kaneda case. Yoko might have thought so too and gone to ask him. I'm going to Komada a lot. It'd be, it'd be unfortunate if he ended up dead, because he seems to be a good source of information. Oh hey, a girl. Let's, let's chat her up. She might know some shit. Excuse me. Komada doesn't seem to be around. There's a student over there. Maybe she's in the art club. Hey, didn't mean to press that. Student? Um, hey there. Do you have a moment? I'm in the middle of painting right now. Don't talk to me. I pissed her off. Talk to me. Um, shut up. Go away. She's very focused on her painting. Um... Okay, she really doesn't want to talk. Let's think it up. Nope. Surroundings? An art club student is painting. She might be doing a club activity alone. The oil painting. What an amazing painting. The colors are exquisite. Thanks! So you have an eye for talent? Can I help you? Where's Mr. Komada? He's gone off somewhere. Gone off where? About Yoko. 
Feel so sorry for Yoko. I'm really bad with that stuff. Don't ask me about. Don't ask me that again. I'm gonna ask you about it again. All you give me is ellipses. Okay, good to know. He should be somewhere in the school. He said he was coming back. Good. He hasn't left then. It's good. It's good. He'll be back. All right. What's that? It's a murder that occurred in this town 15 years ago. Have you ever heard of it? It's around the time I was born in Paris. I'm half French. Can you tell by my face? Not really. You just kind of look like a drawn girl. So I have no idea. I don't know, okay? Art is an explosion. That's an old saying. I heard there was an artist who used to tell that joke. Do you know of him? I don't think it was meant to be a joke. Wonder what kind of art explodes. Mm-hmm. Can I show the class ID? How sad. Look and examine uh, at the girl. No. Yeah. I'm not allowed to look at all then think about things. Think! The bears knew probably know about the Kanada case of the people who were involved. Okay, if I want to confirm Yoko knew that about the Kanada case, I should probably visit her house first. Okay. Let's go to Yoko's house. Excuse me. Who is it? It's Detective Detect Man from Utsuki Detective Agency. Who? Oh, just a second. Hello. Sorry for coming over unannounced. Well, is there something... There's nothing else I can tell you. What is this that about? What is that about? It's a murder case that occurred 15 years ago. In Terabang. What does that have to do with my daughter? There's a chance this case is deeply connected to Yoko's case. Does any of this sound familiar? In Terabang. Give me more. Or nothing. I guess I'll have nothing. I won't like nothing, but I'll have it. I'll go and check Yoko's room for any clues. Stay here. I'll be right back. I couldn't find anything, but I brought a bag. Feel free to take a look at through it. Thank you. I'm gonna open the bag. Please, go ahead and look through the bag. She... I'm sure she would want you to. Okay, thank you very much. There are textbooks inside the bag. Oh, and several notebooks too. I am gonna look at the bag. Several notebooks are inside along with some textbooks. I'm going to take the notebook. Let's take a look inside the notebooks. Look at the notebook. Nothing seems to stand out in here. Are you sure? What about another? No? Still nothing? Still nothing. Think it up. No thinking. Got it. Take the notebook. I'll check another notebook. Oh, that's how that's gonna work. No, 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 no. Examine the notebook. Nothing seems to stand out in here. Do it one more time. I don't want to mess up. Okay, there we go. Take it. Take another notebook. Taking all the notebooks. Hey, wow! The newspaper clippings regarding the Canada case are pasted all over the pages. I was right. Yoko was looking into the Canada case. Pick it up. Just as I thought, Yoko was investigating the Kaneda case. Detective Utsuki is investigating the Kaneda case. I should do more questioning at Ushimitsu High School. Oh, Jesus. I didn't... There was a bit of a... 
uh, something in the back of my throat that was happening. I don't know. I just need to find a clue that links the two cases. It wasn't a hiccup, but it wasn't quite not a hiccup. I don't know how to explain. Uh, art room. Thank you very much, Mrs. Kojima. With your help, I found a valuable clue. I'll head out now. Thank you, Mr. Detect Man. Please find a killer quickly. I will. Later. Has Mr. Komado returned? Not yet. Why not? Do you know about the Komada case? The Kanada case? Not Komada case. I don't know, okay? Uh, can I show the... No, I can't show anything. I'm gonna go to the front of the school because he hasn't shown back up, so I'm gonna do something else somewhere else and hope something happens. Yo, what up? Uh, show not allowed. About Komada? Have you seen Mr. Komada? No, I haven't seen him. Hmm. Man, it would suck if he was dead right now. Mr. Komodo would probably know. No, I haven't seen him. Uh, think? No, I'm not allowed. What do you know? No, I didn't mean to. I meant to go one more down. Oh yeah, earlier I saw a strange man leave the school. A strange man. Yeah, I didn't recognize him. But he seemed about 30 years old and had really mean eyes. Oh man, I wonder who that could be. Could maybe he's fucking Goro. Probably Goro. Uh tell me more about this guy, if you can. I don't know if I should tell you about that. Huh? No, tell me. What to do? Should I talk? No, I won't. It's not a good idea to speak so casually right now. Look, Mr. Detective! Mr. Komada's in the art room now! Oh, you're right. Nice! No! Call and engage Komada? Doesn't seem to be here. Well, he's up in the window, I can just yell and be like, Don't fucking move, I'm coming! Yeah, you better haul ass. You don't want to miss him. If you'll excuse me, then... Oh, hello, Detective. How's the investigation coming along? I think I'm slowly starting to make some progress. Oh, wow, I see. It's wonderful. Uh, let us talk... A uh, show! No. Talk. About Yoko. Told you last time. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's just do what new. Ah, yes, I remember that incident. Let's see, the victim was... It was a man named Genjiro Kanida. Ah, was that his name? His son, Goro, was the one who discovered a body. Really? I had no idea. A man named Terihiko Uchida was the lead suspect, but he committed suicide before police had a strong case. I see. So you're saying that the case is still a mystery. But why are we talking about such an old case, kid? Does it have anything to do with this one? Yes, in fact, let's talk about Yoko. Have you figured out the identity of the killer yet? Not yet. Hmm, guess that makes sense. It's only been a day. Huh. What could the killer be? Maybe a ghost. Does it have anything to do with this one? Uh, yeah. Rumor likely originated from the disappearance of Shinobu Asakawa. In fact, the person of that scene of the, of the Kaneda case, who later went missing, was Shinobu Asakawa. What? She was involved in that incident then? Yeah. Oh my. Do you know that Shinobu Asakawa was involved in the Kanada case? Oh my. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk about the Kanada case. Okay. I guess not. What do you know? Nope. You know fuck all. So, how does Kojima's murder relate to the Kanada case? Kojima was researching the ghost stands behind Rumor that started with Asakawa, but how does that just explain her murder? I suspect Yoko learned the key details about the Kanada case while investigating the girl who stands behind Rumor. I believe that the culprit murdered her to conceal the truth. What? In fact, I was able to confirm today that Yoko was indeed looking to the Kanada case. 
You're saying that if the Kaneda the case is solved, then Kojima's murderer might be found as well. I can't guarantee it, but there is a chance. Who would have thought that Kojima's death was related to the Kaneda case? Hmm. Kojima might have been murdered because she was looking to the girl who stands behind. That's your theory, am I right? Yes, for now it is. It looks like the girl who stands behind rumor is a big clue here. The girl who stands behind is a big clue. The biggest. Yup, she was involved. Let's, what do you know? Nothing. You know nothing. I mean, I could be of more help. Can I think? The guy from the tennis club, maybe he was making fun of me a bit. Maybe he knows something. And maybe he does. I'm sorry, I'll be back in a bit. Oh great, Fuckwad's not here. Oh hey, Fuckwad is here. Came back, I knew you would, Mr. Detective. Does he have something he wants to tell me? Mr. Detective, I need to tell you something after all. Well, no one's around to spread any weird rumors. For Yoko's sake, I'll clue you in. There's someone known to be the first to wit- uh, the first to witness the girl who stands behind. The first? Is that true? Who could that be? Listen, you did not hear this from me. I don't even know your name, but it said that Miss Hayama, the biology teacher, was the first person to see the girl who stands behind. Miss Hayama? Though she strongly denies it. So the teacher spread this rumor. Not a student? I should speak with Hayama anyway. Mata would know her. Mr. Detective, may I excuse myself? There are some people waiting for me. Thank you very much. Sorry for interrupting your club activity supervision. What do you mean, Mr. Detective? You're the tennis club supervising teacher, aren't you? <laughs> ah, son detective, you are. I'm a bona fide student of Ushi Mitsuhai. First year, in fact. Did you see me getting tips from the senior students earlier? Oh, um... I'm really sorry. What for? Anyway, I must get going. Good luck, Mr. Detective. Certainly has a commanding presence. Huh. Yo, Komada, you know this girl. I need to find this girl. Hmm? Back already, what's the matter? The matter is about Hayama. I heard a rumor that a teacher uh, named Miss Hayama was the first to just witness the girl who stands behind. Miss Hayama? No, no. I had a teacher start a childish rumor. It's hard to imagine Miss Hayam as the first person to see the girl who stands behind. If true, that would have been 15 years ago, right? But she's only been teaching here for about 10 years. Kids these days spread all sorts of tall tales. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? I remember now, Miss Hayama is an alumna of the school. There you go, she was a student at the time. Really? In which case, it's a possibility, or she may at least know something about the case. Yeah, I'll go get her. Yeah, she was, if she was a student at the time, then yeah, she probably would have spread childish rumors of, you know, because it's a fucking child. Ta-da! Here she is. Hello, I'm Hayama. I'm Detective from Utsuki Detective Agency. Nice to meet you. Got a few questions for you. Let's talk about Yoko. Why did this happen? I feel so sorry for her. So you probably nothing in that branch. I thought you were the first person to witness the girl who stands behind. Uh, I have nothing to do with it. You have everything to do with it. You have the most to do with it. Tell me, tell me now. Why is the Y in Hayam's name so high up? It's odd. What do you mean? I'm gonna press this on you. I really don't know anything. And I don't believe you. Fucking tell me. No, I'm, I'm not gonna believe you. God damn it. It looks like I have to believe you for now. We weren't in the same grade, so I don't know her well. I just knew her name and what she looked like. Okay. Alright. Nothing in that case, uh, branch. I remember the incident to some extent. Oh. Goro? Goro Kaneda. The only thing I heard about him was that he was a bad apple. It's a good song. I was a good student. I never had anything to do with him. Hmm. You sure? I don't know. 
Uchida. Who? I don't know that person. I guess that was useless. He's the victim of the Kaneda case. Well, it's rather sudden. W well Fuck. I really don't know anything. I don't believe you. Can I think it up? No. Nah, thinking doesn't really do much. Why did this happen? Okay. I'm just gonna go down the dialogue of once more and see if there's anything that new that pops up. You know that Shinobu Asakawa went missing about that time, right? Shinobu was at the scene of the Kaneda case, and then, then she was murdered by the killer. She then became the girl who stands behind and appeared at school. At least, that was the rumor back then. Damn. Ellipses, with an exclamation mark. But, I wasn't the one who spread it. You don't say. It was a rumor, but I didn't start it. Then who did? It was a rumor, but I didn't start it. Fucking tell me who did. Say something useful. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, she did say something useful. It's that the original rumor of the girl who stands behind was Shinobu Asakawa. Oh? A girl was at the door just now. Huh? Maybe I'm imagining things. I... I don't think I can be of any more help. I... Yeah, what the fuck is he doing? I don't see her. She must have left already. Komada, what the fuck are you doing? My hands are a little full right now. Come back later, okay, kid? What's Komada up to? I don't think it could be of any more help. Hmm. Komada? He's rustling through something in the corner. Looks like he's searching for something. Uh, no, that's not going to be of any help. The hell do I do now? Um. Hmm. Man, what is he doing? Oh, I just have to engage him again. Fine, fine, what is it? Well, I'll get going. Sorry, I couldn't be of much, much help. No, thank you very much for your cooperation. Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, Miss Hayama left? Yes. Okay. I'm looking for something. What are you looking for? It's my wallet, kid. I'll add 3,500 yen in it. I'll go retrace my steps. Everyone's gone. I guess I'll go chase after that girl that was in the hall. Or not. I'll go to the front of the school, I guess. Nobody's around. Damn. Nope. Why would he be here? Sure, looking student left. Can I... No, I don't want to engage. No one in the art room. Think. I wonder if it's true that Hayama was the first to see the girl who stands behind. Huh. Surroundings? It's quiet. Yeah, it's almost like the music just cut out. To build up tension? Maybe? He's not around. Hope he finds his wallet. Nowhere to be seen. Huh. Poster. Okay. 